Hello, welcome to the Comp 1511 pointers recap video. So in this video, I'll be taking you through what a pointer is and why they're important. I'll then cover the three main ideas to remember when working with pointers in C. Declaring, initializing, and dereferencing pointers. So first, let's talk about what a pointer is. So a pointer is another type of variable. Instead of storing, say, an integer or a double or a char, it stores a memory address. So here we say a pointer references a location in memory. The special thing about pointers compared to other data types we've seen is that there is an operation that lets us access and modify the value stored at that location or what that pointer is pointing at. And this operation is called dereferencing. So as an analogy, think about a computer's memory as a neighborhood of houses and memory addresses as addresses for a house or for those houses. Now, imagine there is a house somewhere with a secret gathering that everyone wants to go to, but no one knows where that house is but me. So in this situation, I would be the pointer and I store an address. When people come to me to ask for that address um, and then go to that address to see what is there, the particular house, that's like dereferencing a pointer to access the value stored at that memory address. The reason why pointers and the ability to dereference them is important is because it means you can access and modify the original variable that the pointer is pointing to. And this is particularly useful when we look at pointers in the context of functions. So another way to think about pointers or another analogy for dereferencing a pointer would be clicking on a link to a collaborative document where multiple people can interact and write on the same document. So this would be much more efficient in some circumstances, like if we wanted to avoid needing to download the file, update different versions and copies of them, and then send it back to people um, every time we wanted to make a change. However, we wouldn't necessarily want to use pointers in every situation, like if your document was actually the assignment specs and you didn't want to give everyone the ability to update the original document. So to reiterate, pointers are variables and pointers store memory addresses. We can dereference pointers to access whatever's stored at that memory address and we can also change whatever's stored at that memory address. Now, let's take a look at all this in code. In this short code demo, I'll be talking about how to declare, initialize, and dereference a basic pointer. So first, let's talk about how to declare a pointer. Like any other variable in C, to use a pointer, the first thing we want to do is declare it. So note here that a pointer variable is almost always aimed at a particular type because we want to know what the pointer is pointing to. If I want to declare a pointer that holds the address of an integer variable, as I have one up here, I would declare it with in star followed by the name of the variable. If I want to declare a pointer to say a struct, I would type struct star and a variable name and so forth. So although this star notation is conventionally attached to the variable name, you can think about the type as int star, a pointer to an int. This means that once you've declared and initialized the pointer, you don't need to refer to the data type when you want to use it. You just need to refer to the variable name as I have here. So let's talk about initializing a pointer. So if I didn't have this part of the code, the variable wouldn't contain any meaningful information. So I want to assign it something to store. In comp1511, when we are working with pointers, we usually want to store pointers um, to another variable. And this is where this address of operator comes in. So putting this ampersand uh, symbol next to the variable name, so here's a variable num uh, that contains an integer, I put an ampersand and this variable name. Um, doing this gives you the memory address of that variable. And this is the same ampersand that we use when we were working with scanf. So um, scanning 
like this. We used um, this ampersand and a variable name. Uh, so we can access and modify the original variable that was passed into scanf rather than a copy of it. Um, because scanf is a function that takes in um, arguments. So let's print this out and see what we get. Pointers. There we go. So I've declared and initialized a pointer. Um, so this pointer variable contains the address of num. As you can see here, these two are the same. Now note that a pointer is also just another variable, which means it too has its own memory address. After you've created and initialized your pointer variable, as I've done up here, you can pass it around, you can assign it to other pointer variables, pass it into functions, and do everything you can with variable types you've already seen. So let's say I didn't want to assign the pointer to a particular memory address yet. What you would initialize it to is a special value called null, um, which is a special reserved value referring to the zeroth location in memory. The reason we want to do this is so we can explicitly indicate to the program that this pointer isn't pointing at a particular um, variable or object yet. This is different to uninitialized memory where our pointer may be storing some garbage value um, that we don't have any idea about and which could lead to unexpected behaviors later on in our programs. So with null, we can always explicitly check um, if the pointer is pointing to null, so we would know that it isn't pointing to anything meaningful yet, compared to not being able to check if our pointer is initialized or not. So let me comment this out and comment this back in. Cool. Uh, so the third idea to remember when working with pointers is an operation called dereferencing, which lets you access the variable stored um, at the memory address that is contained in the pointer variable. So in code, we dereference a pointer with the star notation. And this is different to the star in, in star when we were declaring a pointer. So these are two distinct concepts. So let's compile and run this program. So as you can see here, when we dereference a pointer, what the program does is it goes, okay, so we've got the ad uh, address of num stored in pointer. What value does num contain? 21, and it uh, replaces this dereference pointer with the value 21, which is the same as what is stored in the num variable. Um, an important thing to check before you dereference any pointer is that you are sure what it contains is valid. So make sure that the pointer has been initialized and that you are not dereferencing a null pointer. If you do end up dereferencing a null pointer, 1511's DCC is extremely nice in that it will tell you um, that you have dereferenced a null pointer. So here's an example where a pointer is containing um, null and I'm going to try to dereference it and assign it a new value 10. So we've got a big fat error message. In conclusion, pointers are a very powerful concept because they let you access memory directly and understanding how they work serves as a very strong foundation for understanding a lot of other concepts in computer science. Today, we talked about what pointers are and why they're useful. We then covered the three main concepts to remember when working with pointers in C in the context of COMP1511. Declaring pointers, initializing pointers, and dereferencing them.